Chase Dittmore, I'm a 2022. I currently go to basic high school. I'm a third baseman and a pitcher. I'm committed to UNLV, and this is a day in the life. It's like a UNLV for Duke. Uh, I got into baseball when I was probably four, like right around four or five. And the reason I started playing is because of my older brother. I always wanted to be like my older brother and he was playing, so. And it was just fun to play with him and play catch and I just, I just started off really quick. And I, I've i always been like better at it and it just comes easy to me. So it's, it's the sport for me, I guess. Um, honestly, I think I picked UNLV because it's it's a hometown. Um, I've always wanted to be like a hometown hero. I think it would be super cool to possibly go there three or four years and then be eligible for the draft and hopefully get drafted. That's the goal. So. They actually reached out to me when I was a sophomore and I was talking to them for a while and then I had a few other visits and I was considering, um, there was Oregon, uh, U of A was one, and then uh, University of the Pacific. But like I said, uh, just being home and being able to be hopefully a hometown hero, I love the atmosphere here, I love the weather's good here when it's when it's uh, time for season, so I think this will be the good, the good spot for me. I signed the end of my junior year. Or I committed then to my junior year. I just signed last week. So. Oh, definitely. Uh, high school is the priority right now. D1 is, that's next year. Um, I definitely have to be at all my high school games. I have to be at all the practices. That's, that's my responsibility right now. Next year is completely different and I'll handle that when I get there. My biggest strength is probably being a good teammate. Uh, I'm always up for all my other teammates, especially when the second strings come in, like they're always rooting for you. So when they come in, I, like I, I don't believe in karma, but like if you're, if you're always rooting for them, uh, when your time comes, it's, it's kind of just like you get it back, you know? Um, my biggest weakness, I don't know, I probably get upset too much. <laughs> I gotta just play the game and have fun. Trout. That's easy. I love the way he plays the game. He always, he's always playing hard. You never see him really slacking off. Um, I love Tatis. He's young. He's going to be a good player for the game a long time. Um, I love watching the old highlights of Lou, Lou Gehrig. He was, 
I mean, I have him in the show now. He's pretty good in the in MLB The Show, but I liked watching him too. Depending on what time the game ends, if, if it's early morning, I usually wake up. I try to wake up two hours before stretch. Um, I wake up, I usually shower. I like to eat eggs and toast, that's a good one. Um, chocolate milk is always good with that. Uh, then from there, I drive to the field, stretch or whatever. I usually get there 15, 20 minutes early before stretch, do my own little thing. And then uh, just stretch and play, I guess. My favorite baseball memory has to be uh, when I was younger. We made it to the, the Little League World Series or like the, the regional for it. We ended up losing in the championship, but that has definitely like, I feel like that's motivated me. Like I've always wanted to put myself in that position to be in that spot again. And so like this year we're going to have Legion and hopefully we get to go experience that again and go to the World Series there. So it's always, it's been like a little chip on my shoulder to get better and find, find a way to actually win that championship and take us there. Don't be afraid to reach out. Um, they love that. If you're willing to reach out and send them videos or even ask if they'd come watch you play, that's, that's huge because if they don't know about you, how are they gonna know to come watch you and see what you have, so. So we went to the cages first, and then we did some tee work there, uh, some underhand toss, and then we came over to the field, and then we hit BP on here, did some defensive drills, and it's basically the day in the life. 